Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. In today's class, I'm going to cover trigonometry of right triangles. So let me start the class right away. First, quick recall. In all your sections, we define the sine functions and cosine functions in terms of the coordinates of a point on the unit circle. Now, we define those functions as well as other trigonometric functions using the properties of right triangle. So, next let's talk about right triangle. Let me scroll down. So, given a right triangle and the diagram here with acute angle T, AC is perpendicular, AB is hypotenuse, BC is base, angle T is angle of reference, and angle C is right angle. Then, we define the sine functions as sine of angle T equals to perpendicular over hypotenuse. Perpendicular over hypotenuse. We define cosine functions. Cosine of T equals to base over hypotenuse. Base over hypotenuse. And uh, tangent functions by tan T equals to perpendicular over the base. The cosecant functions is the reciprocal of sine functions. So cosecant t equals to 1 over sine t, that is h over p. I'm just, I'm just flipping that sine t ratio here. Similarly, the secant functions, secant t equals to h over b, and the cotangent functions equals to b over p. I hope it makes sense to you all. Also, we remember those formulas by saying soa ka toa. So ka toa. So here, soa means sine equals to opposite side over the hypotenuse. Ka means cosine is adjacent side over hypotenuse. And toa means tangent equals to opposite side over adjacent side. And cosecant, secant, and cotangent can be found by taking the reciprocal of sine, cosine, and tangent functions, respectively. Great. Now let's move on. A table of values of trigonometric functions for the angle between 0 to pi, and also at 3 pi over 2, this chart we are familiar in our earlier sections. We know the sine 0 is 0, cosine 0 is 1, tan 0 is sine 0 over cosine 0, that means 0 over 1 is 0, and cotangent 0 is just a reciprocal of tan 0, that means reciprocal of 0 is undefined. And we are familiar with these values. Now let me move on. Next definitions, the co-functions identities. Here is sine t equals to cosine 90 degree minus t. Similarly, cosine t equals to sine 90 degree minus t. Tan t equals to cotangent 90 degree minus t. And cotangent t equals to tangent 90 degree minus t. Similarly, cosecant t equals to secant 90 degree minus t and secant t equals to cosecant 90 degree minus t. A trig function of an angle t is equal to the co-function of its complement 90 degree minus t. Awesome. Uh, by the way, we can replace this degree by radians. We can put 90 degree equals to pi half radian. Great. Let's move on. So, quick example, sine 30 degree equals to cosine 90 degree minus 30 degree, that's a 60 degree. Similarly, tan 15 degree equals to cotangent 90 degree minus 15 degree, which is cotangent 75 degree, etc. Awesome. These are the co-function identity. Next, let's talk about application of a right triangle trigonometry. So here we are defining angle of elevations and angle of depression. So suppose 
a person is standing here I'm talking on the diagram and uh, object is on the top here then the line of sight of that observer makes an angle to the line of orientation so this angle is called the angle of elevations similarly let's switch the position suppose the observer is standing on the top here and he is looking some object down here then his line of orientations and uh, makes an angle here then that angle is the angle of depression so this is the angle of depression this is the angle of elevations great so next quick remark to solve a right triangle means to find the measure of all three angles and three sides so now with this idea now let's solve some example worked example the first find other five trigonometric functions of the acute angle t if sine of t equals to radical 3 over 2 so let's begin the solutions draw a right triangle here let me scroll down this way. yep draw a right triangle here so the angle of t is here given to us sine of t equals to radical 3 over 2 and t is acute angle so that means the ratio of a perpendicular and hypotenuse is radical 3 over 2 so that means radical 3 is perpendicular hypotenuse is 2 then using Pythagorean identity we can easily find the base so then let's find the base here we use the Pythagorean identity here so p square plus b square equals to h square so b square equals to h square minus p square and h is 2 p is radical 3 so b square equals to 2 is square minus radical 3 square 2 to 4 this is square and radical cancel so 4 minus 3 is 1 so this implies base is 1 so that means we have a base 1 perpendicular radical 3 and hypotenuse is 2 now we can easily find the other five trigonometric functions using this formula here using this formula i hope this makes sense to you all now let's evaluate let me scroll down so here so then cosine t equals to the ratio of base over hypotenuse so that means one half tangent t equals to sine t over cosine t or perpendicular over base so that means radical 3 over 1 is simply radical 3 next cotangent t is the reciprocal of tangent t so that means just flip radical 3 that means 1 over radical 3 so just write the reciprocal of radical 3 which is 1 over radical 3 similarly secant t is reciprocal of cosine t so simply 2 and the cosecant t is simply the reciprocal of sine t so sine t is radical 3 over 2 so cosecant t is 2 over radical 3 great so we solve this example let's move on example 2 solve the triangle using the trig functions of an acute angle t so the given to us 45 degrees here this is better this is 90 degree the triangle a b c is given to us so here a c also given to us this is a perpendicular which is 81.9 meter and let's assume this side is a and this side is c then we need to find out the value of angle a and we need to find out the value of side this c and side this a I hope this makes sense to you all now let's begin finding the angle a so we know the sum of three angles that means interior angles of triangle equals to 180 degree we know this is 90 degree we know this is 45 degree so then this must be 90 minus 45 so this is angle a which is 45 now we know the perpendicular then to find the hypotenuse let's use the 
sine function, so sine of 45 degree equals to perpendicular over hypotenuse, that means 81.9 over C, so C equals to then just cross multiply, 81.9 over sine 45 degree, we know sine 45 degree is 1 over radical 2, so that means you just flip it, so 81.9 times radical 2, that's the value of side C. Oh, that's the measure of side C. Great. Now, similarly, to find the side A, we just knew the side C, so then let's use measure of this hypotenuse, that means the value of C, so let's use the ratio of um, base and hypotenuse, use cosine function, so then cosine 45 degree equals to base over hypotenuse, that is A over C, A over C. Then, so from here, let's cross multiply. So then A equals to C times cosine 45 degree. We know the C in earlier step. C is 81.9 times radical 2. And we know cosine 45 is 1 over radical 2. So radical 2, radical 2 cancel. So that means A equals to 81.9 nine meter awesome so I think we so we have all the sides and all the angles so let me summarize here angle A is 45 degree angle B is 45 degree oh that's a typo angle C is 90 degree so angle C is 90 degree and for the sides sides A is 81.9 A is base we just compute here and side C side C is 81.9 times radical 2 which is here and the perpendicular means side B which is given to us 81.9 meter great I hope this makes sense to you all now let's move on example 3 find the side A Find the side A means find the perpendicular on this triangle. Given angle A is 25 degree and side C, that means the hypotenuse is 52 mm. So solutions. To find the side A, that means to find the perpendicular on these right triangles, we know angle of reference and we know the hypotenuse. So, so, so let's use sine functions so we know sine 25 degree equals to perpendicular over hypotenuse that means a over 52 then cross multiply so a equals to 52 times sine 25 degree and using calculator sine 25 degree is approximately 0 0.42 then let's multiply these two numbers it gives us approximately the side a is 21.98 mm. Great. I hope it makes sense to you all so far. So now let's move on. Now, example 4. Example 4. Height of Eiffel Tower. Questions part A. For a person standing 100 meter from the center of the base of Eiffel Tower. So here in the picture, this is the Eiffel Tower here and the person is standing 100 meter away from the uh, base of the Eiffel Tower so the person is standing here the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 71.6 degree so this angle is 71.6 degree so the question is how tall is the Eiffel Tower so that means in this right triangle what is the perpendicular measure. I hope this question makes sense to you all. So now, begin the solutions. So we know angle of reference, we know the base, we need to find out the perpendicular. So we can use the functions tangent. So we use the tangent functions that gives us the ratio of perpendicular and base and we can easily find the value of perpendicular. So, 10 71.6 degree equals to 
perpendicular over base. Here's perpendicular is h, that's the height by the way, and base is 100 given to us. So cross multiply here, then h equals to 100 times 1071.6 degree. Using calculator, it turns out that height equals to 300.6 meter. So that's the height of this Eiffel Tower. Great. So now in part B, a person, let me do that, that's better. A person standing near the top of the Eiffel Tower notices a car wreck some distance from the tower. So this time the person is standing on the top of the Eiffel Tower and he is observing something down here. That's a car wreck he's observing here. If the angle of depressions from the person's eye to the rake is 32 degree, if this angle is 32 degree here, angle of depression, so the question is how far away is the accident from the base of the tower? Means what is this distance here? I have this question makes sense to you all. So now, uh, two informations. In this right triangle, the perpendicular is we found in part A, the height, angle of difference is given, and we are finding the base. Another information is, we know the angle of depression here. Since this line and this line are parallel, and this angle and this angle are equal. So now I'm, instead of working here, I'm working here. Now this angle is 32 degree. We know the perpendicular in this right triangle so then to find the value of the base means the value of d i'm using the tangent function so it gives me the ratio of perpendicular over base then i simplify that's the idea so let's use tangent 32 degree this 32 degree equals to perpendicular over base here perpendicular is 300.6 over base is d that's the one we are, we are finding then cross multiply so d equals to 300.6 over 1032 degree then using calculator 1032 is approximately 0 0.62 then divide this number that means divide 300.6 by 0 0.62 then the d turns out to be 484.84 meter this is the approximations great great we finish this example. I hope it makes sense to you all. And at the same time, we finish this section. Thank you.